Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Conversations with the Soul. I'm Rita Hickman. I'm a body-mind expert, Jetson massage therapist in the Chicago area. Um, if you're wondering where I'm at, <laughs> where I take these videos, I'm at home. I live in the woods on about, good morning, Kathy. I live in the woods on about two and a half acres, uh, out in the middle of nowhere. We don't belong to anybody. Um, and I have to do that because that's how I stay mellow. I've got an office in McHenry, Illinois, as well as an office in Barrington. And uh, I own Inside, which is a holistic and cultural art center, uh, as well as Inspire, which is my shiatsu massage practice. So I found the perfect place in my home, and this is where I'm going to be taking most of my videos. Good morning, Sherry. Um, it's in front of my window looking outside. So you'll be able to see the seasons change. Uh, as we go through and see my woods change and I hope when the snow comes and and it's just beautiful this is one of my favorite places to look outside and just watch the world go by um, and then of course because I like to be comfortable I station myself on top of one of my heaters <laughs> so I turn up the heat before I start and I get this wonderful warmth uh, no matter what the temperature is outside so today's topic uh, let's dive right into it good morning Kathleen Today's topic is intuition. So we've been talking about intuition all week. Hopefully you've been um, at least trying out one or two different techniques that strengthen your intuition. You know, the foundation is realizing what intuition is, which is not only a felt sense from your body, but also balancing with uh, reason, logic, and rationality. One of the ways that you strengthen your, um, your intuition is by having lots of life experiences you know, realizing that everything's an experience and you're there to see how to navigate it and figure it out and problem solve it. Um, the more situations you find yourself in and the more people that you meet and talk to and um, get different opinions and have great dialogue and conversation with them, the better your intuition gets because your intuition is really based on um, experiences, both positive and negative. And uh, the best way to strengthen them is to keep challenging uh, your own beliefs and being curious about what's really true. Then we talked about dialing down your hypersensitivity to your body because with all of the inflammation and the foods and the toxins and the air and the stress and people being crazy and the energy, we have a heightened sensitivity. And um, so our intuition sometimes can seem like anger or fear or anxiety but it could be driven by physical issues. It could be your body talking to you and not, not your mind trying to you know, solve what's going on outside of you. So you have to clear up sometimes whether you're feeling something going on in your body only that needs to be addressed or whether it's actually something out in the real world. Then we talked about uh, strengthening the muscle of intuition. So taking time and, and giving your mind body a break so that it can recover and it can recharge itself and um, it, can, uh, it, it can be at its peak because it's not worn out. So when we take time every day to give our mind body a break um, and meditation in any of its forms is my favorite way, but we talked about the different forms of meditation, moving meditation and uh, focusing on a couple different things, meditation and, and all of that. So now I'm gonna give you how I really tap into my intuition. I started doing this uh, when I needed to change careers. I needed to change my job. You know, I had been fired, which was the first time in my life I'd been fired from a job because I was a good girl that was perfect and did everything right. And, uh, but always managed to find a way to juggle and figure things out. And uh, I'd gotten in a little over my head. And because of that, I ended up being fired and I was at loose ends trying to figure out what to do, how I wanted to live my life. So um, I happened to have a deck of tarot cards at the time and I took the tarot cards out and I didn't know how to read them and I put them, uh, I made a list of all the different jobs that I could do that I was interested in that you know came to mind that might even vaguely, good morning Mary Jane, might even vaguely be interesting to me and, uh, and I did, good morning, Ro, and I did a, a spread on uh, using my tarot cards on what job I should take. So every single job on the list, I, I did a tarot card spread, and, uh, and I just looked at it, and I said, okay, wh what is this? When I got to shiatsu, well, when I got to massage therapist, uh, which I'd had a lot of judgmentalisms against, 
I thought massage therapists were a dime a dozen. I thought they were, you know, uh, they didn't know what they were talking about, that they were creepy people, that, you know, I saw everybody getting into massage therapy and I thought, you know what, I don't want to do this, uh, but I'm going to add it to the list because anything that I don't like, I know I have to look at closer. If I have a strong emotional reaction, it means it's something that, that triggers me and I have to look at it a little bit closer. So for massage therapist, I came up with all of these cards uh, that were huge. They were, you know, big, important cards. I don't even remember what it was. You know, we didn't have cameras then to, you know, little phone cameras to keep track of it. But I remember thinking, wow, this really is making an impact. And uh, it made me look at massage therapy a little bit closer. So uh, it, it made that impact, and then I started to reflect on it, and that's the direction that I ended up going. And intuitively, this is exactly where I'm supposed to be. Not just pie-in-the-sky stuff, but like, no, this is who I am and what I'm supposed to be doing. So over the years, I've perfected that technique, not necessarily with tarot cards, although I use them a lot, um, but with a lot of different uh, a, a lot of different methods, and you can do it with anything. You can tap into your intuition immediately at any point in time. Uh, because remember, intuition is a balance between a felt sense and then a rational, logical reflection based on life experiences. So, here you go. When you've got something that you need an answer for, whether to stay, whether to go, whether to keep your job, whether to not keep your job, whether to respond to a text or not, whether to um, respond with anger or respond with kindness. Um, because we all know that different situations require different answers and different moments. Every moment changes. Every day changes. Every hour changes of how we should respond or react. There is no right answer. There is no might want to get rid of, or is it based on... Uh, you know, logic and, and sound, you know, a sound basis. So I will trigger a reaction in myself, and then I will reflect on the reaction. So let's say you don't have tarot cards around. You can take a coin out of your pocket. You can say, should I text yes or should I text no? And you flip the coin. Good morning, Gretchen. And you flip the coin, and uh, if heads was yes and tails was no, and let's say it came up heads, and you looked at it and you said, no! <laughs> well then, that tells you how you feel. That tells you uh, at least the, the felt sense of what's going on. And then the next step is you take a few moments and you check in with yourself. You check in with your, um, you know, with your wisdom and your logic. And you say, um, is this reaction uh, the reaction I want to have? Is this how I want to respond, or is this the old belief based on my fear, based on my self-sabotage, um, the things that uh, are still stuck? You ask yourself that. And then between the two, you get a very clear guidance of what you should do next. Now, it can be kind of scary to trust your intuition, because what if you're wrong? So what you can do is you practice your intuition on a regular basis so you practice it with small things all over the all over the place my sister likes to um, muscle test herself for every food you know that she's interested on the menu so she kind of goes uh, backwards a little bit she looks at the foods on the menu she looks at the things that she might want to eat and then she muscle tests for it to see if that's a good fit that's another great way to do it, to tap into your intuition. It's the body and the mind. You compare, you know, you bring the two together. I always ask myself when I come up with, with something, when I'm having a reaction, is this, is this how I want to believe? Is this the direction I want to go with my life? Because I've got a lot of, uh, and I've had a lot of very negative beliefs which have made my decisions for me. You know, that's happened to all of us, hasn't it? Where, you know, we had someone who bullied us in the past or, or someone who was uh, angry at us or we've got memories or trauma or abuse or experiences. And uh, we created a belief around that and uh, around the experience that we had. And that belief isn't always mature. 
it isn't always uh, the right belief to have. It, it won't always take us in the right direction. I read an article about Uma Thurman today, and she was talking about how, um, how angry she was over the abuse of power in Hollywood. And um, she said, I'm very angry, but I'm an adult. So I've learned that sometimes when I express anger, it doesn't turn out the way that I want it to turn out. And uh, so as an adult, I'm going to self-reflect on this until I figure out how I want to address it, how I, how I want to say something. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to wait, I'm going to hang out and, uh, and reflect on this, on this feeling that I have to make the best decision for me. And that's exactly what we're talking about. You know, you want to be triggered and you want to look at it. Then you want to self-reflect and ask yourself, is this the direction I want to go? Is this the belief that I want to carry? Do I want to believe that I'm being abused, that I'm being um, ridiculed, that I'm being uh, demeaned or diminished or, or that this is the wrong thing? Uh, is that what I want to believe? Or do I want to believe that this is a positive experience that I'm going to, you know, dig in and keep moving in that direction? You ask yourself, what do you want to believe that will take you in the direction you want to go? And that is uh, where your, how your intuition kicks in. Because it's a whole process of feeling and self-reflection and experiences and deciding and making a conscious choice based on your intuition, yes, I want to follow this path, or no, I don't. The whole purpose of intuition is to take your buried and subconscious beliefs, take the conversation that's going on in 90% of your brain and in the rest of your body and bringing it to your conscious mind so you can make a decision that is right for you. That's, the, that's its whole purpose. That's what it's there for. So um, I invite you to start to strengthen your intuition, to start to do things which, um, which will give you a guidance system that uh, will not fail you. Because it's not just about following your gut and then hoping that you're right. It's about listening to your gut and then using your wisdom and your experience um, and your self-reflection time to uh, shape your life because we're all feeling very powerless in our lives today and we were taught that we were powerless and that's where a lot of this anger is coming from from people is this feeling of helplessness and powerlessness that uh, we must absorb or take what's happening to us and remember these beliefs these ideas are are rooted in in things which have happened to us a long time ago so you have to learn how to separate the past from the present and decide in this situation, in this moment, how do I want to respond? So the more healing work you do on yourself and actually tapping into and strengthening your intuition is powerful healing work. It heals your past like you wouldn't believe. And then you're able to start uh, healing relationships that you thought were broken and moving in directions which you thought were impossible. Miracles happen when you start this uh, healing process of strengthening your intuition and really connecting into your own guidance system. So I hope this was helpful today. Um, this is the last one on intuition, unless I get a call from the wild that says, oh yeah, I really want this. Otherwise, next week we're going to talk about energy. Um, I also do classes, so if people are interested in getting together and, and doing an online class, I'm more than happy to, to lead one uh, in order to get us where we want to go, whether it be strengthen our intuition or strengthen our power of, of using our energy in the world, sensing energy, all of that. Um, I'm your girl. I'm your woman. So I hope you have a great rest of your day, and thank you so much for joining me, and um, I'll see you on Monday at 8.15. Bye.